Food and beverage cartons are used to package a growing number of products and can be recycled. Made primarily from paper, cartons are an excellent source of high quality fiber for creating a wide variety of paper products, including tissue grades, printing and writing papers, and food packaging. Recycling cartons ensures they go on to have a second life. Sistana Fiber in De Pere, Wisconsin is an example of a facility in the U.S. that recycles cartons. When bales of food and beverage cartons arrive at Sistana from Materials Recovery Facilities, or MRFs, they are unloaded from a truck and loaded into a hydropulper. Bales of Cartons Sistana sustainably manufactures recycled fibers from food and beverage cartons. This recycled fiber then goes on to be used to make a broad range of products, including paper towels, toilet paper, tissues, copy paper, and food service packaging. These bales are ready for the first step in the process. The hydropulper, which is similar to a giant blender, plays a key role in the carton recycling process. Cartons are a multi-layer package made primarily of paper with polyethylene, plastic, and aluminum layers. The cartons are mixed with water and spun together for about 25 minutes, breaking the cartons down and separating the fiber from the poly and polyaluminum. Fiber materials. The hydropulper breaks down the layers and separates the fiber from the non-fiber. This is the first step in extracting the high quality fiber contained in the carton. Non-fiber materials. During the hydropulping process, the polyethylene and aluminum layers are separated from the fiber, as seen with this plastic lining. This is also the point where short fibers that can go on to have other uses are separated out. The separated fiber material now goes through a cleaning process to remove impurities like ink, adhesives, or any remaining non-fiber material. Aerial Overview The cleaning stage includes four steps to remove any adhesives, ink, and any non-fiber materials, as well as a thorough washing and bleaching. Here you can see an overview of these stages, which include the fine screens, centrifuge cleaners, flotation cell, and bleaching. Fine screens. First, the fiber passes through a series of screens that have slot sizes barely wider than a strand of hair. This step eliminates approximately 95% of any existing non-fiber materials. Centrifuge cleaners. Next, the fiber mix goes through a series of cleaners to further remove any remaining non-fiber materials to ensure the highest quality. Flotation cell. Air is added to the fiber mix through a process that separates and removes impurities. Bleaching. The last step is bleaching, which serves to whiten the fiber. After finishing the thorough cleaning process, the fiber enters the final stage and is transformed into sheets, which are cut and baled, and then ready to leave the facility. Aerial Overview. Here you can see the wet lap machine, which removes additional water. Then the fiber is cut into sheets and ready to be shipped to paper mills. Wet lap machine. The fiber is first sent through the wet lap machine where mesh wires are used to reduce the water content.
Cutting the bales. After additional water is removed, the fiber is cut into large sheets. Bales of sheets. The large sheets are baled and then ready to leave the facility. Their next stop will be a paper mill where their second life will begin. The control tower is where the operations are managed. Here, all the processes are monitored, necessary adjustments are made, and the recycled fibers are tested for quality and consistency. The bales of recycled fiber are shipped to paper mills, where they are made into new products like paper towels, toilet paper, tissues, office and writing paper, and food grade packaging. Recycled fiber bales. Recycled food and beverage cartons provide an important and excellent source of fiber for paper mills. Sistana's recycled fiber can be efficiently shipped across the country, as well as to several paper mills located near the Fox River to create new recycled paper products. Being mindful stewards of the environment is key throughout the carton recycling process. Sistana aims to create a closed loop fiber future which includes responsible manufacturing and striving towards zero waste. Water conservation. While water plays an important part throughout the carton recycling process, water conservation remains a priority. As the Stana fiber, water is recirculated during the recycling process. Their life cycle assessment found that their recycled fiber, EnviroLife, uses nine times less water than non-recycled pulp to produce. Using the non-fiber materials. The short fibers that were separated out can be used for animal bedding, land farming, and grass seed coating. Contributing to Sistana's goal of zero waste, the remaining plastic and aluminum material can be used for fuel pellets to produce industrial or residential heat. A circular economy is built on the life cycle of materials and resources that have already served a purpose and can be extended for new uses. We embrace the circular economy of recycled food and beverage cartons, as it is better for business, the environment, and our society.